Hey Deckers, I got so caught up with the FSR 3 frame generation, I forgot that Cyberpunk also added XESS 1.3 and this makes a massive difference. Now, frame generation on or off with FSR 3 quality makes things 10 times worse without it. So I'm going to discount the without frame gen for the FSR 3 comparisons. As you can see here, the FSR 3 plus frame gen is definitely much better. If you're going to use FSR 3, then you do want that frame generation on, as it does help in lots of situations and clears up some of that fuzziness. But overall, FSR 3 still does struggle, especially in Cyberpunk 2077 and the Steam Deck, with that quality, as there's always a bit of fuzziness and the background always seems to sparkle somewhat. So as you can see, as we now look at the XES balanced, we're a bit more clean, but obviously that frames per second is only around the 30 mark. So it does make things a little bit more difficult. As we put them side by side in the motion, you can see just how much different this looks. The XESS balance is just so much cleaner in the image overall. And when we freeze frame it, we can really look at those trees and see that difference. Now there is a third way that you can play this, which does look very different. And I'll cover that towards the end. But for this, we are looking at the XESS 1.3 on balance mode with 0.4 on sharpening and the low preset overall. So the only difference between this and the FSR 3 one is that FSR 3 is turned on on quality mode with frame generation enabled as well. So you see that that frame time does fluctuate quite a lot and just to fill in some of those frames. But overall, you can always see that fuzziness over XESS. Now, XESS isn't perfect. It still dips down under that 30 quite regularly, although it is less often and it doesn't last very long. It does happen, but it does look a little bit cleaner in pretty much every scene. So although it's pushing the CPU up somewhat more, it does mean that you're going to get that cleaner image. Now, when we're driving around, this really does make quite a difference, although frame generation does feel quite nice driving around. It's just that fuzziness, which can be a little bit annoying. And it really goes to show pushing the Steam Deck to the max when we hit Dogtown. So as we go through the loading section here, again, you see minor difference in the animations for the XESS. But as we come up into Dogtown, where we get some major load spikes anyway, this is where things really take a bit of a dive. Even with FSR 3 and frame gen, it really struggles to even hold over 30 frames per second. And the load stutter is absolutely insane around these areas. As you can see, as we turn the corner, we get a bit of fuzziness. XESS drops under 30, but even the frame generation barely holds 30 as well, which is very frustrating. So as we look at this full screen, you see how much stutter is going on and how wild that frame rate is and the frame times are as well. And the quality isn't too bad, but we do get a little bit of tearing there as well. And things can be a little bit more hard to control with those load spikes. And even with the frame generation, we still dip under that 30 on some of those sections as well. So really struggling to hold that, pushing that APU to the limits. So we look at the same section on the XESS balanced, we still get those load spikes as we would expect, even under the 20 mark, but it is very brief and things smoothen out very, very quickly. And then we do get that quality. Now there is another way that you can obviously play this in ultra quality with ray tracing overdrive. And yes, that is via GeForce Now. And this is how that looks playing on the Steam Deck through the browser with our guide. So you can see just how much different this looks with full ray tracing overdrive and the DLSS on quality mode just to smooth things out that little bit more. We don't need frame generation as we can't have over 60 frames per second anyway, but everything else Pretty much at the highest but keeping all the film grain chromatic and depth of field stuff off and of course that motion blur down as well now when we go around dogtown things are very different it looks crystal clean we get all those ray trace reflections and shadows and although we do still get a minor load spike here and there it's nowhere near as bad and of course we've got a lot more traffic and effects going on as well so if you do want to push it to the max and you have the money as well as decent internet then geforce now on the ultimate tier on the steam deck and steam deck oled is just absolutely phenomenal and a fantastic way to play there is a free tier you can test this out on, but you won't get the ray tracing effects, but at least you'll get a feel for how this performs on your network. And you can check out the guide to install this on your deck in the description below. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be diving back into Cyberpunk 2077 and which way you're going to be playing. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.